and Teller have wowed audiences for years with their unique brand of magic. And they're showing it off in a new series called Penn and Teller Teller Line. Here now from Las Vegas is uh, to tell us more about their show and their concept are Penn and Teller. Fellas, welcome to the show and uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Tell us a lie. Tell us all about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a show on Discovery starting tonight, 10 p.m., the Discovery Channel, right after Mythbusters, called Penn and Teller Tell a Lie. And we'll be telling uh, about seven uh, amazing science stories, amazing factual stories, except that one of those stories is a complete and utter big fat lie. <laughs> and uh, people at home can uh, either use apps or their computers and uh, vote on when they think we're telling the truth and when they think we're telling a lie. Now these are some, I mean, these are some good ones like a butter knife can stop a bullet. Do you believe that? Uh, you know that no, I don't. No? Mm. I well, don't believe it. Actually, if a butter knife can cut a bullet in half, a speeding bullet can be cut by a butter knife, whether you can hang a Mustang automobile by a head of human hair, whether you can land an airplane without steering it at all just by opening and closing the doors, uh, whether you can uh, stop a tiger attack by punching the tiger in the throat, all sorts of uh, things from all over. Some of them lie, some of them true. Everything seems to be so dangerous with what you guys do. Please tell us nobody gets hurt in this series. Well, you know, we, we will later on in the series, not tonight at 10, but uh, later on in the series we'll be dropping Teller into a tank full of piranha. That's so awesome. So we'll find, we'll find out. No one's gotten hurt up until now. How come it's always Teller that gets uh, put in harm's way? Because he shuts up. <laughs> Yeah, you can't talk from underwater in a tank of piranha, so I'm safe that way. Let's talk a little bit more about the interactive component of the new show, because as it's going on, as you said, you'll be kind of telling these stories, some of them true, but there's one lie in there. People can use their smartphones if they've got an iPhone or an iPad or go to Discovery. Uh, they can go to the Discovery Channel online and vote. When do they get to find out if they are right about the story that they well, picked out to be the lie? They have to stay until the end of the show. If you watch 45 minutes of this show and then turn it off, you'll be going to work the next day and possibly saying things that are total lies. But within the show, <laughs> at the end of the show, we do fess up when we were lying. But there's no, you know, like some of these other America Votes kind of shows, there's no like waiting till the next day to no, find no, we, out. You know what I mean? That's cool. We can't cool. do that. We're dealing with, we're dealing with, um, we're dealing with reality here. We can't monkey with that. So we'll, yeah. we'll tell you within, within the hour show. Folks will appreciate that. Hey, Penn, I want to know, what are the limits and boundaries to magic? Because you guys are always pushing the limits. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think you just covered one. I mean, I think it's very important that no matter how much you want to thrill and excite people, that no one ever really gets hurt. I mean, the excitement of doing stuff that appears dangerous is only fun if it really is completely safe. So I would say that's the only limit, is making sure no one gets hurt. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want you guys to know, I once joined you on uh, stage in Las Vegas years ago, and uh, I, it didn't feel safe to me then. How do you guys pick somebody out of the audience? Is it random, or did you have me in mind? We, 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 we were gunning for you. Did we use you for the, uh, did we, did we use you for the bullet catch that we used you for? No, no, no. I picked a giant metal card out of a deck. Oh, oh, yeah. You did the, the, the world's biggest card trick. You, you remember know, that? You, we, had, we had like a ton of cards and two forklifts and uh, shuffled them together. Did we get the right card that night? Yeah, you nailed it. Good, but I, good. it was all because of me. I just want you to know. <laughs> That's, that just means you were easy to sucker. We played you like a cello. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt like a card that night. Hey, but you guys are great. Um, what's this uh, magic act been to you? You guys, it's all about comedy. You guys uh, look like you have fun. Yeah, we have we have a great time. We've been playing here at the uh, Rio in Las Vegas for uh, for uh, over ten years now, and uh, we have a great time. You know, it's a, it's a great combination doing the Discovery Show uh, every week, Penn and Teller Tell a Lie, and then doing the Penn and Teller Show at the Rio. It's just uh, it's a fabulous combination of doing TV and live. Get a chance to do both. All right.